In this lesson, I'm going to explain why some bacteria or microorganisms, they choose to live in aerobic environment and why others choose to live in anaerobic environments. So based on the ability to use oxygen present in the environment, there are various types of organisms. Some of these are true aerobes, meaning the ones that must use oxygen to pro produce energy. Human beings are true aerobes. We cannot live without oxygen. Remember, we must breathe. And once, for some reason, the breathing stops, we can die. So are these aerobes. They must use oxygen to produce energy in the form of ATP molecules. So some organisms are true anaerobes. These must stay away from oxygen because oxygen is toxic for them. So we'll examine next, why is that? So they still have to produce energy, so they use alternative ways to produce ATP, the ones that don't require the presence of oxygen. So they're called true anaerobes. Then we have facultative anaerobes. These are capable of producing ATP using pathways that involve oxygen utilization as well as the ones that don't involve oxygen utilization. If you remember, that is referred to as fermentation or anaerobic respiration. Oxygen seems to be very important on this planet. So what is the flip side of using oxygen to produce energy or ATP molecule? So when the thing is that when organisms use oxygen to produce ATP or energy, if you can recall this, ATP is used to um, energize the cellular function, it is extremely efficient, meaning that cells can produce more ATP per glucose molecule. However, when they use oxygen, there are some toxic or destructive metabolic byproducts of oxygen utilization, namely superoxide ion, hydrogen peroxide, and hydroxyl radicals. So how do organisms that are aerobic, the one that do aerobic respiration, or the one that are facultative anaerobic, remember they could do aerobic respiration or anaerobic respiration, they deal with the toxic waste resulting from oxygen utilization. Well, the nature gave some of these cells the ability to produce two enzymes. The organisms that can do aerobic respiration, they have the ability to make these two enzymes that help them scavenge and neutralize these toxic waste products of oxygen utilization and convert them to non-toxic products. The first one of these is superoxide dismutase uh, we oftentimes use the acronym SOD to represent that. It catalyzes the destruction of oxygen radicals by combining them with the protons present in the cellular environment in a chemical reaction, which leads to the production of oxygen and hydrogen peroxide. Now, oxygen is not harmful, but this hydrogen peroxide, remember you use it to clean wounds. Why? Because it kills germs. It's extremely toxic for the cell, and the cell can die from the accumulation of this hydrogen peroxide if they don't do anything about it. So the next enzyme that comes into play in this cleanup process is catalase. Catalase carries out the next reaction to convert this hydrogen peroxide produced in the previous reaction and converts it into water and oxygen and neither of which are toxic for the cell. This is how the reaction is 
takes place. Hydrogen peroxide converted into water and oxygen in the presence of catalase. So with the help of these two enzymes, the aerobic organisms, the one who do aerobic respiration, they can get rid of this toxic waste so it doesn't destroy the cells. Understand? So that's why these organisms can handle aerobic respiration. If it was not for these two enzymes, they wouldn't be able to do that. So, why some organisms are anaerobes? Why oxygen is toxic for them? So just we, like we discussed in the previous slides, the true anaerobes, they lack the two enzymes that I mentioned in the previous slide. So they are unable to get rid of the toxic waste resulting from aerobic respiration and will die from accumulation of these toxic waste. So they choose to exist in oxygen-free environments, so we call them true anaerobes. I ask you to analyze, spend some time on trying to answer these two questions. When I see you back in the class, um, we will review them in the class and we will try to explain what is going on. I'm sorry for the typo here.